Hi everyone, I'm Becky and this is my cat Snowflake and I'm a first year student at St Anne's College currently studying Spanish and Italian. I recently filmed a brief video on the Spanish Golden Age, but today we're going to be discussing the other half of my wonderful degree and focusing on the Italian sonnet. First of all, we should really look at what a sonnet actually is. It derives from the Italian word sonetto, meaning little song. The sonnet itself was created in the 13th century by Giacomo Valentini, and it was introduced into England by Sir Thomas Wyatt in the 16th century. The definition of a sonnet is a poem of 14 lines using any of a number of formal rhyme schemes. In English, a sonnet typically has 10 syllables per line, which we would call iambic pentameter. So, since its creation in medieval Italy, hundreds of thousands of authors have manipulated the sonnet form in order to articulate their ideas in any way that they so desire. However, while there's no right answer, if I were to ask you what you think of when you hear the word sonnet, I'm sure many of you, including myself, would say love. This is because many famous poets and writers have perceived the sonnet's musicality, like its typical rhyme scheme or iambic pentameter, to act as a perfect vehicle by means of which love can be expressed. Now, this isn't unreasonable at all, seeing as the feelings of adoration, tranquility or completion that love can provide seems to be mirrored in the way that the sonnet sounds. So, what we've learnt here is that the sonnet itself doesn't actually have many rules in terms of its content, however its stylistic traits meant that from the Middle Ages it was considered to be a perfect form of literature through which one can express their love. But who actually started associating the sonnet form with an expression of love? A good question. Many poets and writers such as Shakespeare, for example, utilise the sonnet form for this reason. However, the real father of the sonnet, so to speak, is certainly Francesco Petrarca, or Petrarch. Petrarch's most famous work is arguably Il Canzoniere, a collection of 366 Italian lyric poems, almost all of them about his love for the woman he calls Laura. He first saw Laura in 1327, and in his poetry he compared her and her body to the sun, to pearls, to the wind, or to any element of nature that he felt best emphasised her beauty. This is really the first time that this had been done, and so any poetic comparisons made between nature and humanity from this day on became known as Petrarchism. Allusions to his poetic style can be seen in any number of sonnets or poems, from those created in 15th century Italy right up until those created and published in modern Britain today. So, to conclude, we've looked at the Italian sonnet as a successful vehicle through which poets can express or write about anything but traditionally love due to the sonnet's musicality and stylistic traits. It's been around for hundreds of years, used famously by Shakespeare and Wordsworth, but it is arguably Petrarch who made the sonnet what it is today. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you're all enjoying learning a little bit more about the world from the St Anne's short series, but in the meantime, stay safe and I will hopefully see you all soon. Thank you.